Hi, welcome to Gretsch RV. My name is David Reagan and I'm going to demonstrate on how your induction cooktop operates. Um, this induction cooktop is only available on lithium ion units. Um, so you got to realize that if you have a propane unit with a generator, you're not going to have this induction cooktop. Um, this induction cooktop is only going to operate if you have an induction style pan. So there's an easy way to see if it is compatible with an induction cooktop. Either on the bottom of the pan it's going to have a marking showing that it is induction compatible or you can get a magnet and if it magnetizes to the bottom of the pan it is compatible with induction. So it works off of magnetism to um, actually create heat in the pan. That's how these systems work. So if it's non-magnetic pan, it is not going to work with induction. These induction cooktops also have a safety built into them. So if there is not a pan on the surface here, um, the induction portion of the unit is not going to work. So you can push your power button on and it will actually come on, but none of the other settings are going to operate here. So um, it'll it'll see an error code here because it knows that there's no pan um, on top of the surface. So even if you are cooking on the surface and you remove the pan from the surface, the induction part of the cook uh, cooktop here is gonna, actually going to shut down. So keep that in mind. Um, you cannot operate this unit without a pan in place. There is a child safety lock here as well on these units. So if you push and hold the child safety lock button down on here, it will actually light up red here and it will lock out the controls of the cooktop. So um, keep that in mind. If the controls are not working, see if the lock button is actually on. If it's on, like I said, it's lit up red. So you have to push and hold your finger on that particular spot for a moment. And when it turns off, it's not instantaneous. You can't just push it and release. You have to push and hold it to change the setting if you want to lock it or unlock it. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to take an induction pan here. I have some water in this pan already. So we'll set it down here on the, on the, on the cooktop here. And then we're going to turn the power button on. So when, um, remember this induction cooktop works off of 110 volts as well. So um, this on in, in induction cooktop works when you're plugged into your shore power or when you have the inverter on when you have an ion unit and so when your inverter's on and you're not plugged into shore power this induction cooktop will still operate so let's go ahead and turn this on just simply push the on button on the right hand side there's actually two cooking positions in this cooktop so you can use both simultaneously if you want two pans in here you can cook two two different items at the same time so turn the system on and then what you're going to do is you're going to push the hand the, the little arrow or the finger bu hand button here on the cooktop and it'll show you 900. You can change the power setting. It'll all go all the way up to 1300 or it'll go all the way down to 300. So that's the amount of cooking power that you're going to be um, putting into the pan here. Basically it's your heat setting. Okay. So if you have the heat setting at 900, for example, then what you come over here is you push your time button. You can push the time. It'll, it'll show you a little clock right here and you can uh, add time to one minute, two minutes, three minutes, actually two minutes right here. So let's go to two minutes. Um, so once you set the two minute timer here, um, it'll actually come on once it stops flashing here, it'll come on and it'll start the two minute cooking process there. So um, you can set the time from the time button here up and down and you can set the power once you first turn it on. Now if you want to uh, change the power on the cooking when you're cooking you can easily do that just by the plus and the minus sign here on the screen once it's in the cooking process there once the system's going. Um, so if you need to adjust your heat once you're in the middle of a cook and it's too hot you can turn the heat down or if you need more heat you can actually turn it up here. So um, 1300 watts is the maximum as you can go here. And if you want to see what your actually degrees cooking temperature is, you can push the, the finger button right here on the end and it'll show you in degrees of cook. So you can actually control your temperature and degrees here on the screen, not just amount of power. So um, if you want a specific degree that you want to cook, you can change that right there simply just by pushing this icon here and it changes the power or the temperature setting here. So you can see that. If you are on a 
in mid on a cook and you remove the pan from the cooking surface the the induction part of the cooking uh, top is actually going to shut itself off be cautious on that because on this side right here it's nice and cool because i have no pan on here this glass only gets hot from the heat transfer from the pan down into the glass this is actually heating the bottom of the pan where um, it, with magnetics in there and it's changing the pan to create heat itself in the pan not from the cooking surface so just be careful when you remove this for example i'll remove this one off it goes into an error right here and the cooking top the induction cooktop here is actually going to shut itself off so you'll have a beep now it just shut down but be careful this is still going to be hot to the touch right here when you remove the pan because the induced heat from the pan down into the glass it will cool off and it cools off fairly quickly but just be cautious of that that this could be a hot surface after you remove the pan it is already starting to cool off as you can see i can rub my hand across here and it is it is getting cool but we are already making hot water it is that fast and that efficient so um, just be mindful that um, you need to have induction cooktop compatible pans and you can set your temperature and the lockouts on here if you have any questions about this you can always email us or give us a call but it is that easy and that simple to use and um, i hope you have some very nice meals off of this cooktop